All right, here with Justin Upton, uh, we're gonna play a little Meet the Padres. You ready? You down with that? Yeah, I'm down. Okay, Norfolk, Virginia, where you grew up. What do you remember about Norfolk, Virginia? Great place to grow up. Uh, it's kind of quiet. Uh, you know, you, you knew a lot of people in, in, in your city, in your town, and and uh, we, we played a, a ton of sports. That was that was the fun part. Who was your biggest influence growing up? I have to say my parents. They were they were always supportive. My dad. Uh, he played a little, little bit of college baseball, so you know he had a baseball background, and and baseball was actually my first love. So having a chance to to work with my dad every day and, and try to get better at the game was fun. He played college baseball, and then he went on to be a scout. What did he pass on to you about the game that you still hold with you now? Um, it's you're, you're always learning. Um, you know, you're never going to perfect the game of baseball. You know, there's a lot of failure in it, but you know, as long as you love it and, and, and keep going after it every day, then you'll be successful. All right, you get drafted as a young whippersnapper, just 17 years old, first overall pick. Now going into your ninth big league season, how's your perspective changed since first being drafted to now? Well, as, as a 17 year old, um, you know, you, you go out there and try to, you know, find your way. You know, now, you know, I have a grasp on, you know, what my what my goals are and what I want to do. Uh, but as a 17 year old, I was just kind of going into it aimlessly and and hoping to, hoping to be successful. And I was a little bit scared of the game and, and and playing at the professional level, which I'm not afraid to admit. You're 17 and you grow up essentially, and you become a man while you're playing the game. Is there anyone that you kind of leaned on throughout that process? You know, coming into the big leagues, uh, Tony Clark, uh, Orlando Hudson, uh, Chris Young. He's one of my best friends and. We both kind of grew up in the big leagues together. He got there a year before I did, and, and we kind of leaned on each other. And uh, you know, obviously, my brother has been a big influence for me. How special was it to play with your brother as an adult and as a professional? My two years in Atlanta were awesome. Um, you know, I really enjoyed playing there. I really enjoyed playing with my brother and and, and uh, having the teammates I did there. Um, as far as playing with my brother, being able to see my family as much as I did, you know, being on the East Coast, I think that was the most special part about it. What's something that you've learned about a new guy in the clubhouse? You know what, Jed Jerko is about. Five Five foot, nothing. Apparently, he, he thinks he's an NBA basketball player. Yes. Okay. Uh, he <laughs> he goes out. He works on his shot every day, um, which is, which is interesting for a guy who you know probably has no shot ever <laughs> ever playing basketball. He's, but he's taller in his mind. Yeah, he's tall. Yeah. He's he's a big guy in a, in a little man's body. You don't know where you'll be after this season. You're a free agent. You're going to probably be a wanted guy, and who knows? You might be with the Padres, but you might not. How do you approach this season, knowing that it might just be a one shot season? Well, I, I I try not to bring the um, the free agency thing in, into the clubhouse, and you know I I know the question is going to be asked a ton. Um, and you're but, over it. <laughs> yeah, I'm over it already. You know, it's it's a it's a it's a long season, and you know that can only drag the team down. I don't I don't want that. So, um, you know, I'm here with these guys. I hope to be here with you know them you know the entire season and and beyond that. But that's that's not in my control. What do you do when you're not playing baseball? When I'm off of baseball in the off season, you know, I, I try to find a golf course two or three times a week. How's uh, the game? Game's not bad. Not, not bad. Uh, my handicap's gotten lower and lower every year, which is which is good. One thing that people don't know about Justin Upton. I played the violin from probably third third or fourth grade until I got to middle school. And I didn't think it was cool anymore, so I quit. Wish I would still. Still quit. so cool. Yeah, I wish I still did now. <laughs> You know, it's not cool when you're in middle school and high school, but you know, you get out of school and you're like, man, I could have been a little more cultured, you know. Okay, last meal on earth. Pizza. I'm, I'm the biggest pizza fan. It's it's one of it's one of my vices. One thing on your bucket list. I'd have to say playing Augusta. Best piece of advice you've ever gotten. Enjoy what you're doing. If you could trade places with one professional athlete in any sport, who would it be? I'd like to be LeBron for a day. All right, last one. One thing that you want to see in San Diego. Ooh, I, I want to go to San Diego Zoo. I, I've, yeah. I've played there a million times. Guys, guys from the team have gone, taken their kids, things like that. I've never been. So. Have you heard it's world famous? I have heard it's world famous. <laughs> Justin, thank you so much. I appreciate it. All right.